Right now, more than 22,000 people in our state have tested positive for COVID-19. More than 1,500 have died. And as Governor Lamont continues efforts to slow down and stop the spread of the virus, we're learning that not everyone is complying with his executive order to wear masks while out in public when you can't properly social distance. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore joins us live from above our newsroom with a look at where this has been an issue. And Shante, the governor is certainly not happy about this news. No, Aaron. In fact, he could double down and make it mandatory to wear a mask or cloth face covering in public. Tonight, it appears part of the problem is there's a lack of enforcement. It started with a viewer email. The woman wrote Eyewitness News to report she saw several people not wearing a mask at Walmart in Newington. When she spoke to a manager, the person said the company is not enforcing the mask order, especially if people are six feet apart. On just the second day after issuing this executive order, this idea unacceptable to Governor Ned Lamont. And by the way, uh, we get a lot of notices just from folks who are self-policing. We find out a store is not following um, uh, you know, the rules there, uh, we're noticing them. During his daily briefing, the governor told Eyewitness News he considered making changes to his mask order if he finds people in places are not taking it seriously. The Emergency Services and Public Protection says it's fielding calls about the issue. It also said violators can face a summons. This comes after the CDC shared studies show a meaningful portion of people who are asymptomatic and those just shy of developing symptoms can still spread COVID-19. And it's not just through coughing and sneezing, but speaking. In other words, the masks are not meant to protect you, but others around you. As for businesses not enforcing the rule, don't expect it to last much longer. Authorities are going to tell them so. It's not going to continue. And Walmart did respond to our question by saying it's encouraging customers to wear a mask, but for so many places, it's pretty cut and dry. If you don't have a mask, come back when you do. So we want to ask you in our Vote Now poll, should the governor make the mask order mandatory? We'll have live results later in the show. Live from above the newsroom tonight, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.